Hi, this is Farjana. In today's tutorial, I will show you how you can make a two column regular section full width in DV team. So, this is the layout which we are going to achieve. So, without wasting too much time, let's dive into it and let's get started. Okay, so first I'm taking here a new section. I'm taking a regular section and I'm selecting here two column row. And on the left side, I'm taking image module. I'm selecting a image. I'm selecting this image. And on the right side, I'm taking a text module. And here, I'm just making this as a title H2. And save it and also we can add a button okay so now i want to make this section a full width so this image will cover this 50 percent width and the text area will cover others 50 percent width so for this i'm going to the section settings going to design tab going to spacing and making padding top 0 and bottom 0 save it and going to row settings going to design tab spacing padding top and bottom 0 and going to sizing and making custom cutter width to 1 equalize column height and width i'm making width 100% and max width 200 percent yes so it's now full width here our image may be smaller i'm selecting a large image for this one yes so it's taking half of the section and on the right side we need to make our content vertically centered aligned and need to add some more spacing so for this i'm going to row settings again going to column settings for the second column i'm going to design tab spacing and here i'm adding some padding for top and bottom 30 pixel and 30 pixel left and right or uh, we can try with 50 pixel 50 pixel top and bottom yeah looks great now we need to add some small css to make it vertically centered aligned for this i'm going to advanced tab custom css and main element here i will add margin auto yes and you can see our content aligned centered vertically now i'm going to save it and here some more spacing bottom area spacing bottom yes now saving it yes so this is how we can make any sections full width instead of using any regular sections now i will show you how we can implement some other modules instead of these images so for this i am just duplicating this section and removing it here i want to use a image slider for this i am selecting slider module i'm just working with first one going to edit and adding a background image going to image selecting a image and here i'm removing button or keep it for now and removing some text to make it look better and going to design tab adding some overlay so we can read our text more easily so i'm using background overlay using this dark color and decreasing the transparency 
yes now I'm going to save it and we can also duplicate this in similar way I'm just changing this background image and using another one now I want to increase the slider height for this I'm going to design tab and going to spacing making padding top 150 pixel top and bottom yes so it's taking more height now I'm going to save it and if we want to use this kind of section in our contact page that case we can use Google Maps on the left side so I'm making it now I'm just going to duplicate it and remove these modules now I'm going to Google Map maps dot google dot com I prefer to use this way to embed Google Map directly it's the simple and easiest way so I'm just going to CSL systems just typing an address I'm going to share embed the map copy HTML and going to here selecting code module and paste it here so we can see here is width not 100% so I'm making a width 100% from here and keeping height as it is 450 pixel and on the right side here we can use a contact form here we can just add some text and here we can type say hello and under this we can take a form contact form and this is the form we can also change this button style just click on this brush icon use custom style but on text color to white it's as simple as this now I'm going to save it and finally I want to make a small change on this area I want to make this on the right side and making our content on the left side and now on the right side we need not this spacing so I just need to interchange their style so I'm going to row settings going to second column going to design tab spacing here I'm removing all spacing zero top and bottom zero left and right and going to advanced tab custom CSS I'm just removing it and I'm going to add all this on left column so I'm going to design tab spacing 50 pixel top and bottom and 50 pixel left and right going to advanced tab custom CSS and here I'm adding this CSS and save it so this is now looking so good and here is button I just forget about it I'm just moving it here yeah cool so this is a cool design layout and if we check our mobile view we can see mobile view also looks good and here is our tablet view And this is the final desktop view now I'm going to save it and exit visual builder so this is our final layout 
if this tutorial adds some value to you please give this video a big thumbs up otherwise you may not find my tutorial next time and if you are new here and like to see my more upcoming videos don't forget to subscribe my channel and if you like to see how to make this full website using DV Builder step by step, you can check my another complete tutorial how to make a complete WordPress website using DV theme. I will also leave this tutorial link in my description below. So you can follow this tutorial in step by step and also you can make exact similar website using DV Builder. If you need more professional help from me, then go to farjanarshid.com and get started now. Here is the form below. Just fill this form with your details information and your project details and submit it. I will reply you in next 24 hours. I will also leave this page link in description below. Thanks for watching and welcome to my next tutorial.